a book of poetry from a summer class I took in middle school. And this is my bullet journal. I've gotten back into writing poetry in the last year. I wrote this poem the other night. A shimmering sheet of crystals makes a soft bed on the ground. An ugly brown world is transformed into a palace of white diamonds. Each individual flake winks a glittery light and each step in the plush layer brings a new angle to the glow. There's one other poem in this envelope. Recently, I've found myself saying, one of these days, one of these days I'll get married and live on an island and be a Bible translator and swim every day with my family. I'll write and shoot on film and have to travel around the world to get back to the US. I found myself restless instead of content with my current situation. I become caught up in my dreams of one of these days. I want to get away from this ugly brown world and move somewhere with people and color. But my contentment should not and does not rest on my situations and location. It rests on my trust in God. The other day, I read a quote from Warren Wearsby. We are always heading for trouble whenever we value things more than people, pleasure more than duty, and distant scenes more than the blessings we have right at home. On the back of this poem, I wrote, Not my will, but thine be done. Time isn't going to wait for me to become that quintessential missionary in the jungle somewhere, but I need to be faithful in the here and now. This year, my college has the theme, One Shot. It's based off of the verses, Ephesians 5, 15 through 17. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Making the best use of the time. You know the song that goes, Got one life, half of it's gone. There's a poem about only having one shot that a chapel speaker wrote, a prayer. I copied it inside the cover of my Bible. Lord Jesus, I don't want to waste my one life you've given to me by your grace, and I don't want my life to amount to nothing. Therefore, all that I am, all that I have, all that I ever hope to be, I now and forever give fully and entirely to you in self-surrender. No matter the cost, I take up my cross to follow you. No matter where you send me, I resolve to leverage my life for your glory, your will, and your mission. When I fail, I'll get back up again, because I know that anything I go through in this one life you've given me, Jesus Christ is worth it. You've given me one life. You've given me one shot. Help me to make it count. Amen. It really makes you think, you know. What am I doing today for God's service? Is this devotion that's so eloquently described in poetry 